have a safe and enjoyable ride in one of the most scenic areas of the southwest. Classic Dartmoor weather. I hope the riders don't forget their lights and waterproofs this year. Isn't that right, Sean? Poor old Sean. Sean? Sean! You haven't changed. I've been looking for you all year. I've been thinking about doing the Dartmoor Classic. Dartmoor Classic? We could have made it big after the video last year. I've been on telly. You? So please welcome this week's special guest, Sean. <laughs> so, Raj, what is Sean to you? This is Sean. I used to whip his shirt off in public for money. <laughs> Raj's bare-chested buddy. Uh, Gemma, how do you know Sean? This is Sean, and at school he blew up my what's-its. All right, <laughs> Gemma's crisp combustor. And finally, David, what is your relationship with Sean? Uh, this is Sean. As a boy, I would only let him cut my hair if he was dressed as Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> so where will you begin? OK, Raj, you used to rip his shirt off for money. Yep. Well, let's just get straight to the point. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Why did you rip his shirt off for money? Well, I, I'm a bit of a keen amateur magician. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you learn this? On top of a bicycle? <laughs> well, that's enough of that. We've got important changes to make to the safety video this year. I've already done it. In this Dartmoor Classic Riders Safety Brief, we're going to take you through some of the key areas that you need to be aware of to have a safe and enjoyable ride. We'll cover your arrival and start procedure along with time. So yes, now it would be a good time to stop the music. Sean? We'll also talk about the signs out on the course and some of the hazards you might come across. And just in case you don't manage to avoid all the hazards, we will talk about the medical support and what to do in a proper emergency. So, arrival. Once you get through any traffic, park your car, say your goodbyes, unload your stuff and walk to the race course. Walk back to your car because you forgot your favourite socks that were given to you just for this event and finally back to the race course. Maybe here I should just mention leave enough time to travel. If you're being dropped off, Please do this away from the racecourse entrance and definitely not in the racecourse as your car will not be able to leave until 9.30am when all riders have departed. Look what you've done. I look as stiff as a board. Where else have you changed? At the racecourse, our welcoming marshals will guide you in from the main entrance to a suitable place for you to get ready to begin your ride. Isn't that right, Sean? When you're ready, you make your way to the back of the queue in the start lane, but not before the earliest start time for your route. To enable riders on the longer route sufficient time to complete the course, each route has a start window. But pay attention, as due to wet weather, there are new start times. Grande riders are now required to start between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. Midio riders are required to start between 7 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. And piccolo riders are required to start between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. And for those who did not allow enough time for your travel, you must join the start lane by 9 a.m. Now, let's get you started. So you're in the start lane queue, two abreast, and this year with a social distance of at least a metre. Preferably more if you're wearing your favourite cycle jersey but didn't quite get round to running it through the wash. Towards the front of the queue, you will be signed to a ride group with approximately 100 riders. Won't they, Sean? Your ride group will start behind its own lead-out car, van or ride ambassador. How can you tell if it's a ride ambassador? 
because they will be wearing the Dartmoor Classic Rucksack, built in a durable cotton weave of black material. Stop! The important thing to remember is the Ride Ambassador's Rucksack has yellow wording and you're not allowed to overtake them. The Ride Ambassador, van or car, will lead your group at a leisurely, safe pace for about two and a half miles all the way to Clay Pitts Way where they will move aside and let you head off into the distance to complete the ride at your own pace. Timing is everything. Isn't that right, Sean? 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 Your official time starts when you go past the control tower and ends on your return past the control tower. This is the control tower, except that it's not here because we won't put it here until the event. However, more importantly, the clock does not stop when you enter or leave the feed stations. There are also automatic timing points out on the course. As you ride past, your time will be monitored. You don't have to stop or nod your head or ask, will it stop the clock? Because it won't. It just needs to know you have arrived and left. Those on the Piccolo ride can go back to reading their Facebook or emails or wherever for a minute as they don't need to hear this next bit. For the Medio and Grande riders, this year there is a closed road hill climb section on Beckerford Hill. This segment is sponsored by Satini. You will automatically be timed on the climb and there will be some great prizes for the fastest climbers. So as we have said already, timing is everything. It's not everything. The Dartmoor Classic is not a race, and as you will be sharing the road with other road users, you must comply with the law and highway code, even if that means your time may be a fraction slower. So the route is clearly marked with black arrows on a yellow background. Whatever the colour, most signs will have a large Dartmoor Classic logo on, and this should be the right way up, DC as opposed to OP. Not all of the minor junctions are signed, so at these points, go straight on. When you are required to change direction or road at a junction, these will be signed, and in most cases, you will see a happy marshal. Won't they? Sean? Moving swiftly on, marshals are at key locations to assist you with directions and somewhere to dump your rubbish. However, the onus is on you to make sure it's safe for you to proceed. So moving on. So in this section, we'll go through a few potential hazards you need to be aware of. Steep descents, cattle grids, animals, more animals, horses in particular, potholes and local communities. As this video seems to be heading downhill fast, it's a good time to warn of steep descents. There are some caution signs on the course to remind you, but take care at all times, making sure you can stop, but not on cattle grids, which are our next hazard. Designed to bend wheels and cyclists, especially when wet. To avoid their design purpose, keep your bike upright and in a straight line plus use your brakes before the grid and definitely not on it. Cattle grids are also designed to keep animals on Dartmoor, where they are very likely to be on the road, or if not currently on the road, quite likely to run on the road just in front of you. So, give roaming Dartmoor animals, such as sheep, cattle and ponies, plenty of room and slow down. You're also likely to see horses and riders or riders without horses, if you've not slowed down or given them enough room. It's a good idea that if you see a horse and rider, to talk so both horse and rider know you are there. What do you talk about? The weather? The view? Your tasty meal at the feed station? But that's not really the point. The main thing is... Not to shout! Not to shout. One thing you can shout about though is potholes. 
Yes, like most of the country, there are potholes on the course. Pay attention, you might spot a few. If you do see a pothole or debris, point it out so the other cyclists can see it too. An important thing to also point out here is that locals are not a hazard as such. In fact, maybe we're the hazard. Basically, you will cycle through small, rural communities with local residents who enjoy the quiet and tranquil way of life around Dartmoor. Sometimes, the speed and volume of riders passing through can be intimidating, especially if the resident is on the side of the road or wanting to cross. Therefore, please slow down and pay particular attention. Be courteous and polite and do not get drawn into any arguments or road rage. So please be aware, it only takes one short outburst of bad behaviour to have a lasting consequence for the Dartmoor Classic. A hazard we would like to avoid. There is one other hazard in fact, and that's litter. Please put your rubbish in your pockets, in a bin, or leave it with a marshal, like Sean. Come on. He loves to take your litter, in contrast to other users of Dartmoor, who love them more as it is without litter. Sadly, litter dropped en route still remains our biggest event complaint. So please help us to change this this year and keep Sean happy. We've covered a lot so far, but before we take a break, let's talk about taking a break, in particular, a toilet break. If you do need to answer a call of nature, please do it away from view. Or in preference, in a port loo at the feed zones, or in one of many toilets available around the route. Can we take a break now? Piccolo riders will also be relieved to know at this point, they can return to their Facebook posts as they will not be visiting the Princetown Free Station. For the Midio and Grande riders, this is the Princetown Free Station. Only at the moment is it the fully functional Dartmoor Brewery where they love making great beer. So unfortunately, there will be no beer on the day. However, at the feed station, there will be water, food, a cycle mechanic, and a warm, smiley welcome. And if that is all too much for you, and you need to retire, there is a Dartmoor Classic recovery bus to take you safely back to Newton Abba. If for any reason you do decide to retire, please text event support to let us know. Sean, what are you doing? Oh, are you injured, sick? which conveniently brings us on to medical support. If you are sick, are you sure you're not sick? Or someone has had an accident and clearly requires hospital treatment, call 999 first and then call event support. Do you have a number for event support? Also, call event support for any other cases that do not require emergency hospital treatment. Really? Sure. Is this the event support number? No. This is a note saying that there are two support numbers, so please store these numbers on your phone. For non-life-threatening medical assistance, call 07984 817 138. For all other assistance, call Event Support on 07548 956 358. We have mechanics, medics and support crews out on the course. We should be able to get help to you. Why are you still texting? Oh yes, he's texting because we need you to text to keep the lines free for emergency calls. You've ruined it, you have. I'm off now to do the grant. I can't believe you've done this. 
See you Sunday. Look at it. So in this video, we've gone through the main areas of safety and what to do if anything should go wrong. But what we haven't done is thank you as participants for taking part in the Dartmoor Classic, one of the UK's finest sportive events. Have a safe and enjoyable ride in one of the most scenic areas of the Southwest. So we hope you meet many great and friendly people throughout your day and get to achieve the ride time you're aiming for. At this point, I'd like to thank all our volunteers who have helped to make this event possible. Thank you. We love you. Oh, Sean. Sure. Sean? Sure. Sean? Sean! Sean! We forgot to say, make sure you have a fully serviced bike. Sean? Have a great ride. We'll see you there. Don't forget the weather. It may be wet. <laughs>